we're going to read, uh, we're reading from the Bhagavad Gita, um, Discourse 4, verses 37 to 42. And we're reading from the Penguin edition of the Bhagavad Gita. Let's, let's see if I put it. Oh, that works. The Penguin edition of the Bhagavad Gita. The uh, Skylight Path. I, I think it's called Skylight. Yep. Skylight Pass version of the Bhagavad Gita, and also from um, R.K. Sharma's incredibly comprehensive Bhagavad Gita with Carol Pitts and Les Morgan. And so I will be reading it in, in verse first, and then in um, prose, and then again, more or less in prose with the notes. And Kushbu is reading in Sanskrit. So are you ready to go, Kushbu? Okay, slope 37. Slope ah. 37. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Slope 37. Okay. Yate <laughs> Just as the light, sorry, once again, Arjuna, just as the lit fire makes the kindling into ashes, in this way, the fire of wisdom makes all actions into ashes. The prose says, as the kindled fire consumes the fuel, so, O Arjuna, in the flame of wisdom, the embers of action are burnt to ashes. And there is a footnote, the footnote reads, wisdom janyana burns up the karmic debts set in motion by the impressions of past thoughts, words, and deeds. Although janyana is sometimes translated as knowledge, it does not refer to intellectual knowing, but rather to intuitive understanding. The jnana yoga, yogi acts by the guidance of discrimination, discerning the true from the false, and intuition, the deepest promptings of the heart, not from the influence of stored up impressions. And the Sharma reads, O Arjuna, just as blazing fire burns firewood to ashes, Likewise, the fire of knowledge burns all bondage of actions to ashes. Slope 38. I want to add a little uh, reference here. Okay. So, janana means everything that you express, right? But, and janani means the one who gives birth. Your mother can be different, right? Like the one who raised you is your mother, but but one the one the one who gives you birth can be different, which is in the Krishna story too. So Janani means one in whose yoni you come to this earth. Basically, that is Janani. Mm -hmm. It's a similar word placement, and you can see the correlation in the. Um, Parallel acknowledge the existence, <laughs> knowledge of existence is janana, and you come to ex to existence from janani. Right. Okay. And uh, one other thing I would say about this is that this corresponds also to 
uh, psychological knowing. In other words, um, when you have this wisdom, you don't have to believe, you know. And, and so it's like uh, a child who you tell the stove is hot, they don't understand what you mean. You can describe hot until you're blue in the face, but it's only when they touch the stove that they have this wisdom of what hot is. And they mm. feel it, they feel the hot. Right. So it's that kind of wisdom. It's psychological wisdom. It's very deep wisdom. Right. Mm. Okay. Slok 38. Yeah. Slok 38. Na hi gananena sadrushaha pavitramiha vidyate tatsamayam yoga sansiddhataha Kale na tmatni dindati aha. Slok 38. In this world, there is no purifier like wisdom. In time, one who is oneself perfected by yoga finds that wisdom, in, finds that wisdom in the self. And the prose reads. There is nothing in the world so purifying as wisdom. And he who is a perfect saint finds that at last, finds that at last in his own self. And the footnote reads, perfect saint, literally perfected in yoga. The Sharma reads, Indeed, there is nothing in the world as purifying as knowledge. In the course of time, one well accomplished in yoga automatically finds that knowledge, automatically finds that knowledge in one's own self. And this is sort of the, the distinction between logos and eros and the distinction between the fatherly advice of uh, Jordan Peterson, uh, which is logos and the experience of psychology, which is eros, slug 39. <laughs> Jnana Tatparaha Sanyate Nindriyaha Gnanaha Labdava Para Shanti Machire Nadhiga Chathita With wisdom as the highest goal, controlling the senses and filled with trust, one reaches wisdom. Then, with wisdom reached, one goes quickly to the highest peace. The prose reads, he who is full of faith attains wisdom, and he too who can control his senses. Having attained that wisdom, he shall ere long attain the supreme peace. And the footnote reads, peace, shanti liberation from the false ego and attachment to the belief in Maya, the ever-changing world of appearances. The footnote and the Sharma reads, a faithful person intent on that with senses under control obtains knowledge. After achieving knowledge, one soon attains supreme peace. And the footnote in the Sharma reads, when a person faithfully keeps one pointed attention on this goal and maintains good self-control, knowledge develops spontaneously. Look 40. Agnashacha 
श्रद्ध धान शच संश यात्मा विनश्यति नाय लोकोदस्तित न परो न सुख संशयात्मन अह without wisdom without placing trust the doubting self is destroyed there is no pleasure for the doubting self not in this world nor in the world beyond the prose reads but the ignorant man and he who has no faith and the skeptic are lost neither in this world nor elsewhere is there any happiness in store for him who always doubts the sharma reads one who is ignorant without faith and who has a doubting nature perishes neither in this world nor in another world is there happiness for one with a doubting nature and the footnote in the sharma reads the word samsayatma refers to a person who has a doubting nature the doubting nature is called samsaya and nature is atman so samsaya atman this does not mean that we should passively accept anything we are told it is good to actively look into the facts and make your own judgments about things skepticism can be a virtue in practical matters slope 41 yoga sanya ta karmanah gyana swachhi nan sanshayama atmavana ta na karmani nibadhananti ta dhanat jarya no 41 winner of wealth actions do not <clears throat> winner of wealth which is an epithet for arjuna winner of wealth actions do not bind the self possessed one whose doubt is severed by wisdom and whose actions are given up to yoga <clears throat> the prose reads but the man who has renounced his action for meditation who has cleft his doubt in twain by the sword of wisdom who remains always enthroned in his self is not bound by his acts and there's a well, I'll save this for later so um slug 42 oh i'm sorry wait a minute let me read the sharma a winner of wealth actions do not bind a person who with the practice of yoga has renounced the fruits of action whose skepticism is renewed is removed by knowledge and who is endowed with the realization of self slug 42 tasma the gyan sambhutah hatasya thah ज्ञानसीनात्मनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथमनाथम
doubts are certain to remain. And that quote is from Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. Sharma reads, therefore severing with the sword of self-knowledge, this doubt dwelling in your heart, which comes from ignorance, follow the path of yoga and arise, O descendant of Bharata. And there's a colophon here, which says, here ends the fourth chapter named the yoga of renunciation of action with knowledge. In the, Upanishad, in the Upanishads, sung by Lord Sri Krishna in the dialogue between Sri Krishna and Arjuna in the scripture of yoga pertaining to knowledge about Brahman. Okay, just want to point out that um, uh, both of these men are using multiple epithets, mul multiple names for one another. So in the last two um, verses, uh, Arjuna is referred to in one case as O winner of wealth, and in the next verse as O descendant of Bharata. And so it's always just the two men who are talking with one another in the dialogue. And, and so we don't want to get confused by that um, at the same time at the same time adding um, more character to the personality of the one who we know is god but for now he's your driver yeah at this yes at this point he's the driver of your chariot yes yes so so you see the play of using different kind of words, right? Yes. Like a different kind of, and in, in India, it's like you don't directly call people from their name, the one you respect or the one you love. There is, there is totally like distinct distinction um, of, the loved ones or and the elderly ones. Like there is a distinction uh, of their uh, position in individuals' life very differently. Yes. And and so that is that is called sanskara, like a kind of positive way of saying indoctrination towards your own little world, because you are also a world. Mm -hmm. So. So, so that is where it comes from, using names. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I wanted to also mention that um, here in verse 39, it seems to me that what's being talked about is the experience of enlightenment, at least the experience of enlightenment as discussed in Buddhism. I can't speak about Hinduism, but um, I'll just read this verse again. A faithful person intent on that with senses under control obtains knowledge. After achieving knowledge, one soon attains supreme peace. And I, the reason I mention that again is that one of the most famous things about Dr. Jung is his answer on the BBC interview, which can be found on this on YouTube, which he's asked, do you believe in God? And he said, I have no need to believe, I know. And in the West, that caused great controversy, but, um, but I think it's referring to this. So go ahead. And and that's exactly why I really, really, really love Jordan Peterson, because he's radically honest about it. When he is asked about this, he understands the magnitude, and he says that being like being radically, he being radically honest. I don't know 
but i have been through mysterious experiences where a book opened and gave me a word and it happened and so i act in this world as i know god he, but he still says as if okay he, well he, i i won't i won't add anything i i won't criticize him here i'm not criticizing him i i i what is his process what i i'm i I'm agree with you want to want to express that his radical honesty yes about he, this particular he, thing that do you know god yeah and he's yeah. radically honest about his position about these things which is entirely in the logos and limitations in his limitations that he's saying i don't he doesn't I act know as i yeah no he yeah. does not say he doesn't know he has mysterious experiences and for that reason he acts as he at god as god exists okay. you, you see yeah. he's not saying he don't know he's saying he has a sense of it that is how i will yeah, interpret he, yeah he <laughs> says he says i have a sense of it i and i agree with all that okay um but i also agree with dr young because um you you cannot know from the logos it's only from the eros that you can know and when i saw dr young say that the first time i looked at that video he said i know and i said oh i know so what is it i know and then i had to spend 10 years figuring it out i spent a decade trying to understand what it was that i know that he knows mm. for like for me like it it is a adult realization that oh i already knew in fact i was fighting with god you know <laughs> yeah 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 i'm sure that's true i'm sure that's true um yeah, that, and that that's my adult realization yeah and because of jordan peterson it came that yeah you know so yeah why well, I, i mean i know that i have been arjuna okay and and that i have been driven along by my charioteer i absolutely i know all that um because this resonates so clearly to me now after my long study of dr young um now 33 years i definitely no and and i understand jordan peterson's position okay uh and i i understand i understand that from his position of defending the logos he can't go farther <clears throat> than saying i act as if i know okay but but because my position comes informed by the by the eros also then i can say and i know that, that i know and i know what dr young knew and you know <laughs> see that but in um somebody had to bring respect for masculinity in my life mm okay i like i want to use this this word but i treat like most of the men i assume that they are shit <laughs> <laughs> because of my experiences believe me because of my experiences and i i know see, i know i have seen like i am a social worker i've i've worked in places like i can't tell you how and so so that there, there was one person who was having a having a shamanic journey and had an ayahuasca okay and that i think i shared that video with you and that women vision was that jordan peterson is holding a finally holding a torch for dying masculinity okay fair enough and and 
and it is it is a letter he received and he's reading that letter so 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 for me like even i am able to not judge you right now for anything which person you share or anybody somebody who tell me that they love me you know and not judge them in a bad way is because of jordan peterson and and i will try to defend him as much as i can okay you know, because fair enough and i i I've, mind you i i am not trying to take him down at all yeah sure i understand that okay though. what i'm trying to do is to take one little further step which is that we need balance okay yeah we yeah. need balance between the the logos and the eros and that's what has been missing and um and so and jordan and jordan peterson also says that that um the paparazzi which which came all like you know when what happened when divine masculine is is rising okay what happened if you want to see that just you can follow jordan peterson's personal journey surely he, he he said that because of like to i have to sell my soul to devil to deal with the paparazzi yeah and he he kind of did a marvelous job in it yeah yeah but he he's paying a price for it yeah and that's but, right but and and he said this year ago like one year ago that i um i have to sell my soul to the devil to be able to do this i'm a very good professor i can continue yeah what i do yeah so anyways like i have a i have a passage to read for the tomorrow do you want me to yeah sure do you have a do you have a do you have yeah a we have time, time but I, i we also need to know what tomorrow's reading is going to be do you want to do you want to come in on something well you can read read what you want to read and then so earlier you you were mentioning about the enlightenment yeah. in my version it is saying it's 33 to 37 did you say 37 only right well i no i just marked it at that point but yes it's that's all of it is that, that throughout so that is that is what my version is saying in the end note of that of chapter 4 okay yeah i mean that uh, i i just made my note about enlightenment at uh, 39 but but it really applies to this whole reading for today right oh yeah it it says uh, from 33 to 39 and, and what does it say it's it's a process of enlightenment adhyatma ke prakar kind of process of enlightenment yeah so tomorrow we start with um chapter 5 yeah 5 5 and we do from 1 to 12 um 1 to 6 is is um uh karma yogi is uh uh prashansa honor honor of the karma yogi and 7 to 12 is uh how how to become different type of exercises about how to become karma yogi like what type of karma yogi is there and how to become that so that is 7 to 12 um so i read a passage from the the bhagavad gita which i am following which is 
let's say for the extremely modern mind who believe in memes and illustrations that is the way it's the modern person who understand it well who when believes in what 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 is an illustration memes and illustrations oh, memes. who understand yeah like for <laughs> people who have enjoyed comic book yeah and uh, uh, so then they should order this this geeta it is written by devdet patnayak called my geeta my so geeta not, it's not a religious thing it it will help you be into the shoes of krishna mm-hmm. and arjuna it is made that way the, the book mm-hmm. is constructed that way so in here chapter 5 is 5 is named as you and i have to face consequences okay uh, let me read the introduction for uh, a little bit teaser for what we are going to do tomorrow um the quest for food security and meaning propels the living into action every action has reaction reactions create circumstances that we constantly experience can we control our circumstances create fortune and avoid misfortune by regulating our actions and the actions of other question mark or can we simply withdraw from activity turn away from all sensory seductions save ourselves from disappointments and heartbreak and thus find peace question mark is there such thing as good action or bad action question mark can good action have bad reaction and bad action have good reaction question mark answer to this question constitute the doctrine of karma that means both actions as well as reaction which krishna elaborates in chapter 3 for gita and we will further understand this and as i as i have studied karma on the buddhist side um i i quip i have a quip my funny way of saying it um karma is what is buddhist language for and maybe hindu language for what goes around comes around do you know that Fair phrase enough. Fair yeah. enough yes yes you know, what you do out or do it's going to come back to you Yeah right. every action has reaction that is yeah. exactly what it is saying right 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 okay so quickly i should go through the comments here on um on uh youtube but i i am not going to read uh things like namaskar uh greeting various greetings i'm i'm just going to read some other things miles says i learned recently my name has a meaning of mild soldier sir skip i view so as my general okay <laughs> miles the mi- says the mission that i am miles miles i i want a role too in it <laughs> yeah, i am on the battlefield too <laughs> right and uh miles goes on the mission that i am being deployed to is soon to be revealed the mission is to make manifest eros is my belief yes uh jaguar focus says the balance will always be missing and has always been missing yes so that goes back to gertrude stein's poem uh there ain't no answer there ain't going to be no answer there never has been any answer that's the answer and akshaya says one thing that bothers me is how modern people reduce sexuality to the animalistic level without a meaningful context what is jung's take on sexuality well akshaya i am not going to be discussing that in this session you can ask me that question i have a, another time but i have i have a go ahead one difference which i 
I constantly, I am constantly noticing because I am doing the translation work of some holy literature. Uh, I I have realized that in India, normally when it is talked about sex, sex, it is the good translation of it will be the way it is referred. Uh, the good translation of English translation of it will be union. Union. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So, 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 so you see, I, I would address it to Akshaya. That do, do you see the uh, uh, entire approach changes when the word changes? Yeah, it doesn't have to do with phys- the physical act. But let me. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna hide my video for a minute just so I can get something, which I will show you. Sarah, interesting comment. Karma yoga action is the end, not that means to an end. Basically, the work itself is the worship, not the outcome. Correct. Karma karya vina fal martu nathi. That yeah. was without, without doing karma, you will never get fruit. That is a, that I still remember it. I, have, I learned this as a child and it is a teaching of Gita. Sure. Without doing action or karma you never get a fruit right right and and so we're we're distinguishing union from carnality okay carnality is what you do when you want to produce a child right but but union is something else so in buddhism this is the symbol okay here's the buddha with his feminine side in union, okay, they're they're part of one another, and uh, is it? It's she's not Tara, right? Is she Tara? No, I don't think that's Tara. I have to ask my wife. I don't know. I'll I'll try to know by tomorrow. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, but um, she's not Tara. Tara is the medicine Buddha. Um, Ah, okay. Right. Okay. And Tara is my, my grandmother's name was Tara. Ah, okay. All right. So um Miles also says, please note Eros per skip and Jung is way more than erotic or sexual, which is the prosaic or common usage that people limit their understanding of the word. That's right. Karma and Jaguar focuses karma yoga action is the end, not I the means. It. Okay, you addressed it. Martin says it is good that Skip, as an INTP with dominant introverted thinking logic logos, has arrows on the axis with feeling. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad people see that. <laughs> Akshaya is INTP also. Martin, so you can see that too much mind needs that feeling, yes, in balance. And Jaguar Focus says, one cannot be without doing karma, even if you are not doing anything, as long as you are breathing, you are doing karma. Sure. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we need to, we are going to um, say, oh, Au, au revoir for today and <laughs> All right. come back All tomorrow right. and um, meanwhile I will work on that letter I mentioned to you and so oh uh, and you were going to give me the link for your Patreon page were you going to do that oh you're not ready to I will I will but you don't mention it on. Don't mention it on here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Peace. Kush. I, I, oh, I you're going to read, read the. Yes. F- yes. Please. Um,
within infinite myths lie an eternal truth who sees it all varuna had but thousand eyes indra a hundred you and i only two you a star only one remember never forget peace <laughs> peace <laughs> so the the god of materiality of materialism is one eyed cyclops <laughs> it has no yeah. spirit in it okay peace jessi krishna jessi krishna